Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to Modern Games 42. Um, basically, for a little bit of context, when I made my cardboard MG42, my hot glue gun, I mentioned how it broke. So I decided to make this video to actually show you why it broke and why it stopped working. So what I did is I used a, let's get this on video, I used, I don't know what this type of screwdriver is, it has four, like, it's like in the shape of an X, I don't know if you can see that there, see that, it's like in the shape of an X, basically a normal screwdriver, because the screws on them had this X shape, and they sort of fit together like a puzzle, like that, and then you can turn it and take out all the screws. Now you know, this is my hot glue gun, this is what I meant by that broken trigger, it's not supposed to do that. When you pull the trigger, it's supposed to have a lot of resistance. And that black piece right there is supposed to move forward and push the glue stick in. The glue stick melts and then basically a uh, rubber comes out. And you can use that rubber to fix stuff. So how I did is I got this piece off. You can just sort of take this off. It's very... It's not held on very securely at all, actually. There it is. It comes right off. Um, hang on, pause the camera. Uh, sorry guys, my mom just came to check to see if I found the problem. Yes, I did. So, and you can see I took out the screws. There's a screw hole down here, 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 and here. You take all those out. So I pry everything open and see the inside of that. So if I actually give me a second, if I pull out the trigger here. You can see there's this rotating piece here. You see it's spinning there. It's on a pivot point here. If I pause it real quick. Right, I got uh, this black piece out. Here it is. You can see it is on a spring. If I pull somewhere. Pull on that. See? So that hoop right there would fit in right there. Like that sort of like that and you can see actually the way this grips onto the glue stick yeah see that's how it grips onto the glue stick so it's pretty complicated stuff but yeah you can really see it well there so that would grip onto these glue sticks here. That's how that happened. Also, uh, there was a piece of heat shrink here. That this is called heat shrink. You would put it over exposed wires and heat it up and it would cover the wires. Uh, you can see it's been a little bit used. It's like dampened. But it was sitting right here when I opened it. It was sitting like right there. Just kind of doing nothing. So, yeah. This video is kind of just on... Um... Oh yeah, hang on, sorry. So... I pulled the screws out with the four-sided screwdriver and then I used, I think this is called the flathead screwdriver. As you can see, there is hot glue, melted leftover hot glue everywhere here. What I did is I used the flathead screwdriver sort of like, as a, sort of like a chisel. I just sort of pried it open and scraped away the glue and it comes off. It's very fiddly. It comes right off. So yeah, if I quickly assemble this. You see, if I lift up the glue stick here, ideally, you should, if you do this, by the way, you should be doing this with no glue stick. Mine kind of broke and it had a glue stick in it, so can't really take it out. You can see, if I lift this up here, put it in, there's a little track down here. If I get the spring over, like that, and I can sort of put the trigger back in, you can sort of see how that would work. You can see that these two pieces, they would sort of just go together. And when I said in the video of the MG42, when I said that I heard that snap, that snap was when the these two pieces actually separated. Don't know why it happened. Kind of, kind of the company's fault. I mean, they could have made it out of metal. Don't know why they did that. Don't know why they had to make it out of pretty cheap and brittle plastic, but on the company's fault if I'm being completely honest but uh, I got 15% left on my battery I've got 
like another minute left, minute and a half left to record. So I think I'll see you guys later. Um, I'll keep you updated if something, something else goes on. See you later, guys. Have a fantastic day.